good morning guys um so basically one of the local schools here um has asked me to help training on their mountain bike program um part of that would be building a small little track around the schools for a primary school so i've gone and designed some tracks uh, using the minimal equipment i've actually chosen pallets i'm gonna go get some more wood from one of the local sort of building sites whatever else i can find trying not to spend much money on it um, because a track will only be a temporary thing at the school it's not going to be a permanent thing hopefully one day if they like it um, they'll get around to building their own but for now i'm busy trying to build something that i could set up in my backyard take there fix it all up um, use it manipulate it as i need it as the kids need it the idea with the training program is just to get kids more comfortable on their bikes uh, we found over time that more and more children are just riding in the streets. They're not used to sort of riding over obstacles anymore. So we're trying to get them more comfortable on their bikes, learning how to manipulate their weight, um, get the front wheels up, get the back wheel up, that sort of thing. Just basics, getting confidence, uh, riding with one hand even. It's all going to be done on grass, so if they wipe out, so what? It's fine. Um, that's what we're working towards. Uh, quite excited. Uh, but yeah, let's see what we get up to. Cool, hope you enjoy it. Honey, I'm perfect in. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, ooh. can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia. Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations. They keep weighing me down. My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head. I wanna live inside the upside down. For a minute and pretend. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, whoa. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, whoa. And if I say it enough, it gets ingrained in my head. And I start to see. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. So what's quite cool about this one is um, I could just have it here for a drop off if guys just want to practice getting that wheel up, letting everything drop off. But to build a bit of confidence, I've got this ledge here, which obviously sort of halves the drop. So to start off with, I'll do this with this extra pallet in here. I'll drop off, drop off, kind of drop another step, which should be easy enough. They can just ride over it because this drop here, most wheels will handle with, with ease. And then um, I can move it away as a progression. Um, only later on when I want them to pop their wheel and come off uh, instead of just driving down. Anyway, um, I'm quite happy with that. I'll test it out with my bicycle a little bit later, but I think it works. Just to. Um, Disgusted with myself and I'm disgusted with the way We're told to have a certain face I shouldn't wait because We are in pixels on a screen Though we're human, we breathe Every single thing we see curated It's overrated These expectations, they keep weighing me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head I'm gonna live inside the upside down For a minute and pretend Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, and if I say it enough, it gets ingrained in my head, and I start to think, honey, I'm a perfect.
Okay, so this is my platform, I think, done for now. Um, you can see it'll be up on one side, platform down on the other. Uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, again, not too unhappy with it. Uh, I think it'll work quite nicely. Um, just find a way. Just gonna attach something here and there to uh, hold these ramps together, um, like a, even a cable tie or something string. Uh, you can see none of the pallets line up, so it's difficult to put a wooden structure there without cutting too much. But um, I'm sure I'll be able to make a plan. I'm happy. Here's my platform. See, I just want to be able to climb without. Okay, so another one I want to make, um, I'm going to do something similar to that, but it's like three drops, but I also want to make uh, more of a bridge in line, single track sort of style. So I'm going to take a circular so I'm going to half all these pallets just next to this pull line here, um, and half them. Hopefully I can get some more of this type of wood, chop it on the inside and then I can actually use both. Um, but for the moment I'm going to chop it off here, uh, and I'm going to use that, so it's going to be half sort of a, a track nice for the kids to keep their line on and um, it's going to be more like a bridge so it'll be like a long run with about eight or nine pallets going should be quite interesting to get out of this Okay, so this is the narrower run. See, it's all the half pallets. Obviously, my lawn is quite uneven here, so they're not lining up so nicely. Um, but it's actually quite a challenging little run, I reckon, for uh, Jenny Old to go. Right, so I've uh, softened the lift here with that other blanket I cut. Wheels have come straight up. Little bump. They'll have to keep their line, do a tiny little bit of a climb. Two steps down, doof, doof, straight down. One and it'll be over. I'm just one man amongst thousands. In this world, I'll love them, shout, they'll do fine with that. Yeah, so after my first runs, I was a little bit worried about the double drop I had in the middle. Uh, not because it was too difficult for me, but I can imagine kids losing control there and falling off in the middle. I'd rather have them fall at the end. <laughs> so, I've changed it to single, drop down there. It's just single and then I've made an, a second single in the middle. And then at the end, rather than having such a big um, ramp up, I thought having a double like this, uh, as opposed to having that big steep section. Um, I can imagine the guys are gonna have trouble pedaling on this. So we're gonna see how this goes. Uh, I'm gonna try it out again on my bike and see how it feels. You'll be right. Right, so I think it works okay. Um, what's nice about all these pallets being loose is that I always have the first one that I've built up to be a ramp. The rest, to start off uh, first session, second session, whatever, I can just be a straight track uh, just to get guys to keep their line. And then every week as we move along, I can add these bumps, add some ramps, and if the guys are up to it, I can do that double in the middle or at the end, uh, like I had in the first run. So, it's nice and versatile. Also, what I'm getting to see is my yard is extremely unlevel. Um, and it still works, which is cool. So, I'm not going to be in trouble if the area that I'm on is not super flat. Uh, I can always make a plan. 
and um, I'm quite excited. I think it's gonna work. It's gonna work well enough. Nice. Right. Okay. watching we're gonna change this track as we go along um, yeah as the pellets go as I build some more I'm gonna try build a berm as well if I can get some wood for it could be quite interesting never done that before um, like I said everything is supposed to be mobile um, and I have to move it as we go along if I'm done with it if the school's done with it I might just take it away and set it up around my house for my kids I don't know could be quite cool as well um, follow us uh, on Instagram follow the channel subscribe uh, to see how we go, um, I'm going to get up to some more stuff. Um, Dusty Feet also doesn't just do mountain biking, it's just a sort of one of the side ventures we do. Uh, keep a track, see what we get up to. Um, yeah, subscribe, follow, like. Thanks. Thanks, boys. Woo!